Howdy everyone, this is the Ryobi 5 cubic foot cement mixer, most commonly found at Home Depot. It's pretty well reviewed and after spending some time with it, I can see why. It comes in a pretty large box that will likely require two people to move about. Everything inside is nicely packaged and well protected from damage. I particularly like the fact they went ahead and covered the ends of things with foam and tape. Uh, assembly starts by first bolting together the two pieces that make up the legs. This is followed by the installation of both wheels, which are made out of hard plastic. They're held in place with just a couple of cotter pins that you'll need to bend shut. Next up is what I'm calling the pivot bracket. There is a set screw that provides some tension, but for the most part, it's just held in place by gravity. Uh, from here, we'll pin on the large bracket that contains the drive unit pre-installed and to which the drum will later be installed. Uh, worth noting here is that everything feels really heavy duty and I'm really happy the manufacturer didn't cheap out and use a thinner gauge of steel. In any case, this is kind of a three hand job, but I somehow made do with two. Uh, the handles slide into some holes to the rear of the drive unit. They're also held in place with a couple of removable pins. If I'm being honest, they feel a little stubby. It would have been nice if they were longer. One of my few nitpicky complaints about this unit. And we're almost done. Go ahead and spin on the mixing drum, which is connected directly to the motor's threaded shaft in a direct drive configuration. Finally, bolt on the two mixing paddles and we're done. Go ahead and give this a little test spin because we all know that no one could resist. Moving it about is a little tricky, especially on rough terrain. Remember those stubby handles I wasn't thrilled about earlier? Here's why. On smoother ground, it rolls pretty well though. It holds three 60 pound bags of concrete comfortably, could probably add a fourth if you wanted to push it. Here's what that looks like inside. And now add your water and let it do its job. I know you're technically supposed to add water first, but I like it this way, so oh well. It does take a couple of minutes to get a good consistency throughout the mix, honestly a little slower than I would have thought. No complaints though, as this beats hand mixing by a mile. And here's what that looks like. Now it's time to dump, and this is a little trickier than you'd think. I had planned on going into the wheelbarrow first, but as it turns out, it's not tall enough to do that in the tilted down position, meaning I had to dump directly into my forms. Not really a big deal, but it does mean you'll have to maneuver the unit when it's loaded, uh, or get a shorter wheelbarrow than I had. Uh, for this little gazebo stem wall I was pouring, I ended up settling into a pretty productive little workflow. Basically just a batch mixing while I was working the concrete in the forms. It worked really well. A few minutes in between loads while I floated and troweled and then I was ready for another 180 pounds. Uh, I think I went through about 40 bags which would have been a nightmare to mix with a shovel. So I grew to love this machine pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, that's the Ryobi 5 cubic foot mixer in a nutshell.